Hi everybody, it's Julia from Matheson Travel, your travel expert helping you find that je ne sais quoi wherever you are around the world. This week I wanted to know if you had ever experienced a sandals or all-inclusive experience and if you haven't, if you've wondered what it's like. I personally had not before this trip and after my brief experience and uh, fairly extensive education, um, I got certified this week to be a sandals specialist and got to see three different properties in the sandals and beaches umbrella and I'm staying on the Sandals property. And if you saw my live video yesterday um, in, on my personal page, uh, you may have seen a much busier and much different side of the resort. I'm actually standing on my patio with the lovely beach view that I actually have. And excuse me, I think uh, they're delivering some, some uh, dishes to the, the restaurant that happens to be back there. Um, but I wanted to give you a couple of, of tips about an all-inclusive vacation, specifically a sandals vacation, um, to help you maximize your experience. Because if you're at all like me, uh, you maybe think that this is not your thing. I mean, you know, I, A, I'm not in a couple, so it's really not my thing. Um, but B, I'm much more about sort of getting off the beaten path, and sandals is very much a sort of beaten path uh, sort of vacation. But there are ways that you can improve that experience um, and not feel like you are just one of another a bunch of couples on your honeymoon or an anniversary trip or something like that. So the first thing, there are three different things that you want to think about and keep in mind. The first thing is the room matters. <laughs> and I say this because so many people say, oh, okay, it's an all-inclusive experience and it's a beautiful resort, so it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I'm not going to be in the room. I'm going to be at the beach all day. Well, you know, yeah, you might be on the beach a lot. But at the same time, there are really different categories of rooms, and I'm really lucky. I have this as my view outside of my room, but a few people in my group have, you know, the driveway or a little back corner onto an administrative building or something like that. There are not attractive views and smaller or more cramped rooms across the resort. So that's one thing. The other thing um, is that different rooms have different service levels. Um, at Sandals, they have regular rooms and then most different properties have concierge level or club level, and then some even have butler service. And those are three different tours. And that really affects everything from, do you have a fully stocked bar in your room? Do you have you know, a butler that is going to you know, bring you whatever drink that you possibly could ever think of and bring you to the beach and bring you a you know, cooler to the beach with the, your preferred drinks? Or are you gonna have to schlep yourself to the bar yourself and you know get off your beach chair <laughs> or what have you um, yourself which is what people in non-club and non-butler rooms have to do they they don't have any kind of mini bar in their room uh, the second thing that you really want to think about with a sandals vacation are dining reservations and i say this uh, because in particular this resort has a ton of dining options there are something like I don't know, 20, I think, restaurants or something like that because it is a very large resort and so there are different areas that you can eat at and stuff like that. But, you know, we would think, or, you know, something I would think is like, oh, I, don't, I just want to see what I feel like. I, I don't want to have to plan ahead. I just want to see what I feel like. And you, you can do that. And if you come as a couple or maybe a group of four, that's probably a lot easier. We're traveling in a big group, so, you know, there's often like 10 of us. And we have not been able to really get into any of the reservation-only restaurants because we didn't plan ahead. And, you know, we've had fine, interesting, good food, but it hasn't been some of the really fun experiences um, that you get with the restaurant required reservations or the reser <laughs> restaurants that require reservations. There are a lot better quality food, better experiences, a little bit more intimate, um, stuff like that. So you definitely want to make reservations. And that's another thing with the service levels. Your butler can actually help you make reservations. Um, or if you're also club level, there's a club concierge that helps you make re dinner reservations. If you're just in the regular level, you have lowest priority and it's sort of you all for yourself. Okay, so then the third thing is it is an all-inclusive resort. So if you're just coming for a couple of days I, and you've got a super stressful life and you just want to get away and disconnect, totally understand that. Come, enjoy all you can drink and all you can eat and hang out on the beach or in one of the 50 pools and have a great time. But if you're at all like me and you maybe want to come and really experience the destination or you're coming for a week, um, you know, for your honeymoon or an anniversary trip, you might want to do a little bit more than just sit on the beach or sit by the pool. And there's a great company for excursions called Islands Adventures and they are in every lobby selling you tours to all different things. So first of all, 
you really, when you take a tour and get off the resort, um, you really actually see the country. I mean, I have seen very, very little of Jamaica because I'm pretty much been on resorts the whole time. Um, but if you take an excursion out to, you know, the river falls or the blue hole, you get to see some of the really uh, astounding natural beauty, which I hear is fantastic. Or you can get out onto the water and do a catamaran cruise or something like that. Or there's also a couple historical things like Rose Hall Plantation and um, one other one that's name is escaping me right now. Um, but there are f places or ways that you can actually experience Jamaican color culture because when you're on resort, you're not getting a whole lot of Jamaican culture other than the Yaman from your servers uh, who are all Jamaican and, and who are fabulous. But one thing to note about excursions is that like the dining reservations, that's something you want to plan in, in advance if you can, because as we were told today, the best ones go first. And so, you know, if there's something that you have your heart set on and it's something extremely popular, it's something that you're definitely going to want to reserve well before you arrive at the resort. And that's something that a travel professional like me can help you out with. So just to summarize, those are the three things that I think would really help enhance your sandals vacation is to really be careful about your room selection and make sure that at A, it's in either the more renovated part of the resort or the butler service or maybe just club service. But you definitely want to make sure that you choose the right room to match the kind of experience that you have in your head. Uh, the second thing is you want to make dining reservations, perhaps even before you arrive on the resort, um, to make sure you get the coolest dining experiences. Um, and then the third thing is to add some extras to really get a flavor for the island that you're on. Um, and that is definitely something, again, that you would want to plan ahead. But otherwise, you really can just put, I, my wallet has been in my safe the whole time I've been here. You don't need any money when you're here. And that is a really fun thing to not have to worry about when you're on vacation. So that's it for this week and I'll talk to you next week.